Ganon is a tyrannical, unfortunately commanded form of the army in his quest for power from land beyond the Equestria. The invaded Kemper would so he could steal the magic of the Elikron Princesses with the staff of Sikamas to take over the world and make himself all powerful without anyone else to help serve him. He is also the former master of both Tempest Shadow and Pepper and one of Twilight Sparkle's arch enemies. He is superior to his own guard, who are slandering and Spike. Spike was seen by the Chamberlains as a threat to them, prompting them to capture him. The Chamberlains can fight and arm the main ships and can tag each other's attacks. Tempy Pie was able to create a shell that shook mountains. Rainbow Fish made a shuttle that cleared storm clouds from hundreds of miles away with her sonic rainbow Mazasui and has done so effortlessly ever since, making him country level. He should be superior to his storm guards, who can somewhat keep up with the main six and one guard even the active two blast from a liquid twilight, who was stated to be almost as powerful as Star Swirl. His beams are comparable to the pony of shadows and steed, who will shock the light of the moon and every star in the night sky in 1.08 seconds, making him massively faster than light plus. He took a blow from the main five beam and fired from a cannon. He is quite cunning and deceitful. He is capable of leading an entire army of soldiers who were successful in taking over Kantarot as well as other places in Equestria and was able to deceive and manipulate Tempest Shadow. The Staff of Sikamas is a magical stave used by the Storm King. It resembles the Tree of Harmony and has the ability to absorb the powers of creatures and bend it to its user. It contains the power of four Elikrans, one of them being Luna, who created a shared dream of every Tony and Tony Hill. Tony Hill has between 3,100 and 4,300 citizens. Dreams are considered universe. This means the Staff has the power of 12,400 to 17,200 universes. The Tower of Four Elikrans has proven to be above the Tower of the Store if we pull back the cosmology like a sheet of pure that needs the static behind it. The cosmology contains Limbo, a world between worlds and the structure beyond the universes, making it more complex multiversal level. Let's go without his staff powered up. His staff can be separated from him and he can be affected by his own obsidian orbs. He can also be childish at times. Overall, even without flaws, the Storm King is still a third satellite conquer for the MLP world. Big Jack Horner, formerly known as Little Jack Horner, is both a pastry chef and infamous crime lord who steals and hoards many magical weapons and artifacts. As a child, he tried to make a name for himself and gain fairy tale fame but was overshadowed by other legends like Pinocchio. He is notable for being unflinchingly evil and self-centered, displaying blatant disregard for the lives of anyone but himself. He knocked away Goldilocks and the three bears all at once, who could harm us and Roots. Tusk has proven comparable to Artesis, who is one half of Sino's power. The great mage Sino is the most powerful sorcerer and one of the most serious beings in the universe. As he holds the most powerful of all magical objects, the Arcanum. Since this statement is applied in a general sense, the Arcanum would scale to and above all magical artifacts and slash your objects. Such as Artesis' magic spell that created a little effect across these 39 dimensions and timelines, making him no multiversal level. He can keep up with us who reacted to the Blood Wolf, who states to have existed before time itself. Meaning he existed before space as well as time and space began as prerequisites of the Big Bang. To predate, that means he exists outside the conventional time frame, making him inaccessible. 
He was able to take hits from the CPs who gave us some problems. Jack is a notorious crime lord who even us was hesitant to steal from. He's managed to build a vast array of magic artifacts that he stole, and he runs a successful million dollar make this business. On multiple occasions, he was able to track down and catch up with Tuss's team and the Freebeard's friends family. He can be very arrogant and greedy. Overall, even with those flaws, Big Jack Pointer is still one of the most shared crime bosses in the Jack universe. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. So as we can see here, Big Jack has superior physical stats. Although the Storm King is smarter, he is able to manipulate Tempest, an expert in combat. The Storm King also has the staff of Sakana's, a weapon that can one-shot Jack. However, the Jack Corner will still be too fast for the Storm King to do anything. Also, Jack has more of his sleeves and is better at using that than Storm King. So, I'm going to say that Big Jack Warner is the victor for having superior stats and for being more capable of using his magic artifacts. Next time on Total Fight Time.